Rated T for Teen. Empire Earth was a fantastic game, and it was big, and we had to make our game epic, and we had to make it as good as it could be, better than any other RTS game out there. The things we had to focus on were making history come alive more, so we put more unique units in it from different civilizations over time. One of the things I wanted to do was make sure that we gave players more control over a large scope of action. Um, a lot of RTS games have the camera a little bit low to the ground, and it works well up to a certain point, but once you get to having a large army and a large empire, just controlling all that becomes pretty difficult. And we wanted to push the envelope in terms of the amount of empire that you're controlling in this kind of game, and at the same time, make that easier to do. We put in a stronger artificial intelligence opponent that gives more replayability to the game. We've done things such as make the environment come alive with weather that actually impacts gameplay. Tropical rainstorms ground your airplanes and change your strategy on the fly. We have built the map out of different territories that mean you have to go out and take ground, which has been part of real warfare since the beginning of time, but has never appeared in real-time strategy games until Empire Earth 2. We've added depth, we've added strategy, and we've kept the epic flag of Empire Earth flying high.